Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at moments, the essential math skills you're going to need to answer these questions in your GCSE physics. So these are a set of rules that I've come up with to help you answer questions. Um, I do have another video where I go over these in great detail, so I won't be doing that for you here. Just I'm gonna. This is how I'm going to be answering the questions. Um, whenever I give my students questions to answer, I always make them four mark questions. The first mark comes from writing down the formula. The second mark comes from plucking in the units. The third mark comes from the maths. Um, and the fourth mark comes from the units. This is the equation we're going to be looking at in this video. Uh, moment equals force times distance. Moment is measured in newton metres. Force is measured in newtons. And distance is measured in metres. So this is the first equation that we have, the uh, first question that we have. So following the rules, I have my physics pen. I'm going to circle all of the numbers in the equation, work out what these numbers are. So this is newtons. So this one here must be force. This is meters. So this is distance. Um, now we know what equation we're using for this video. So we don't have to look at our formula sheet. Write down the equation, moment equals force times distance. Plug in the numbers. So that is 64 newtons times 0.8 meters. And if we pop that into our calculators, we come up with an answer of 51.2 newton meters. So this is our next question here. And um, so the first thing we do is circle all of the numbers and they've been a bit tricky in this because they've given you two distances. The distance that we need to look at is this one here because it is the perpendicular distance to the pivot, not that one there which is the length of the lever. So first thing we do is write down our equation, moment equals force times distance. Our force is 300 newtons, our distance is 0.8 meters, so we do 300 times 0.8 and we come up with an answer of 240 newton meters. So use math to show which banner will produce the biggest spin and with the forces force is applied. So here we have moment equals force times distance. I know it seems repetitive writing the equation down over and over again, but this is really good practice to get into for your exam. The examiners do like to see this. So our force is 3 times 0.5 metres. So the force for the first spanner is 1.5 newton metres. No moment it was force times distance, 3 times 0 0.9, 2.7 newton meters. Find the force if the moment is 36 newton meters. So this is going to be a higher tier question because it involves a bit of rearranging going on. So moment equals force times distance, which means force equals moment divided by distance. Our moment is 36. Our distance, uh, I've been a bit sneaky here and not even I noticed it. So this says 60 centimetres. We need to convert this into metres. To convert centimetres into metres, we divide it by 100, so that equals 0.6 meters. So um, going back to our equation we have 36 uh, newton meters divided by 0 0.6 meters equals force of 60 newtons. Again we have lots of um, numbers on here. The examiners aren't doing it deliberately to confuse you, 
they're doing it to see whether you know your physics well enough. So moment equals force times distance. Force is 7.2 um, newtons. The correct distance to use is this one here because it's the perpendicular distance from the pivot. If you're confused about how to find the perpendicular distance from the pivot, you want to draw a nice right angled triangle in there um, from the direction of the force. So 7.2 7 times 0.95 equals 6.84 newton meters and again this is going to be a high tier question because we need to do a bit of rearranging so the numbers that we have are 17 newtons and our moment of 42 newton meters moment equals force times distance so distance equals moment divided by force our moment is 42 our force is 17, which gives 2.5 metres.